On the Husqvarna Viking Designer Brilliance 80, do you know you can actually get in and if you need to, remove the red from the take-up lever? Let me show you how, and while we're in there, I'm gonna show you what that deluxe stitch system actually looks like. So first off, you're gonna take your finger and press down just a little bit, and then take your lower finger and lift up down here. So I'm pushing down and then just removing this little nose. So it does have a little kind of part at the top here that when I put it back, I'm gonna just line it up and then slide it back until it clicks into place. So if you need to, definitely you can pull, use some tweezers, or if you get something stuck, you can usually get to it, hopefully see what you're looking for. It's not a problem. You and I are supposed to be able to get in here if you want, but like I said, I wanna show you what's really kinda neat. So you've sometimes seen you have tension options and sometimes thread portioning options. So on your screen where the tension actually shows instead of it says like either four or it goes to 50. Like right now I'm on a stitch that has 50, but when I'm on the straight stitch, this actually just has tension where it's 4.6, so normal stitching. But when the thread portioning goes into effect, this area turns to 50. And you can make it tighter by going to a bigger number or looser uh, going to a smaller number. Same concept, but do you see these little this little picture? And this will help you re remember if you're on it or not. And honestly, you don't even need to know this, but I, it's pretty cool technology. So I'm going to show you what it's actually doing. So there are three little rollers that are actually in this machine. So as we kind of look right down into this area, there's one, two, and then a kind of a third one back here. So as they come together, they're going to push or squish the thread um, through the rollers. So as I lower the press, right now it's open. So if you've threaded the machine, right now the thread should be fairly loose if you pull it. But when you press the foot down button, you go to sew, watch right here as they engage. See how they kind of twist and, and pinch together? So when I talk about having threading the machine with like purpose, like you go in and then you do the little floss, when you are flossing the thread into the machine, it's making sure that it gets far enough, deep enough into those rollers that they stay in there and that the machine can do the job. So if you don't or you thread very gently, that's when you run into problems. So I need you to thread, usually I hold with my right hand and thread with my left, and then when I come down here and then pull up, I do that little floss. That's what's helping it get to where it needs to go. So I know we were in here for just showing you how to take threads out if you were to get them stuck, but truly there is some magic that you kind of need to know why you're doing certain things. And I think now you might understand it. When you're done, all you need to do, oh, you do need to have this back on to sew. So if this is open while you're trying to sew, it's not gonna stay where it needs to be. So when you're ready, go ahead and reassemble. Just line up these two little kind of arms up here at the top and then just push down. And once it clicks, it's all nice and smooth. You'll know when it's there. It's kind of only a one out, one way out and one way in when you go to put it back together.